What's up guys and welcome to so another really quick nice and simple mission editor video to uh, basically look at how we can make multiple different types of groups or more than one group respawn after an enemy's been killed. Not necessarily killed, we might actually look at two different ways to create, uh, to get some respawning enemies. So the first one will be when the, the group before them gets killed effectively. So we're not looking at mist or moost for this, we're looking at really really basic in-game mission editor and nothing else, how to get enemies to respawn. So as you can see what I've got is two BMP1s and a couple of dismounts on the ground. So they're going to be on the floor in the mission from the get-go. However, when, when they get destroyed we want another group to be able to respawn or to be spawned in as such. So we're going to do that is we're going to make our second group and we're just going to call them BMP2. Why not? And all we're going to do is we are going to place them somewhere relatively simple. So we're setting as BMPs the names are a little bit silly so put them as BMP2s that kind of makes sense we'll have, have four of them and we'll just position them on each leg of the runway that way it'll be really easy to see as and when they've actually spawned in okay so the thing we want to do for this is we want to make sure that where it says late activation that gets ticked and then we're going to go into our triggers which is the little uh, this little symbol here and we're going to set up a trigger to basically tell the game when to spawn these these vehicles in so we can set the uh, first trigger as once I'm just gonna set it as respawn so we know what's what so if you have a mission we have loads of different triggers you can try and narrow down what uh, which trigger does what so in the condition this is where it gets a little bit more important so we're gonna look for group dead and we're gonna have it grouped down as BMP which is the first group BMP 2 is obviously the group we want to use to be the respawns so when group B and P, so the first group in the middle die, we're then going to set an action which will be find it, group activate, and then we're going to set that as B and P2. So basically it's a one time trigger, so it'll only happen once. And when B and P is completely destroyed, so that group with the dismounts, B and P2, so the ones on the corner of the runways will then spawn. And that is the most simple way that we can get this to work. So what I'm going to do is I'll jump in game and I'll show you that working now. So we'll I'll use AI just to quickly uh, kill the group in the middle and then uh, then we'll make sure the other groups respawned. Okay then, so what we're going to see now is here's our first group, so our BMP1s and our couple of dismounts. What we can see is, if we zoom out, that those air, those vehicles we put on either a corner or every corner of the bloody runway are currently not in the game. Therefore, when these guys get blown up and they die, Hopefully that group will then spawn in if all goes well, so touch wood. So let's get this party started. So what I've done is I thought instead of me flying it and having the bomb the targets, let's give someone else a go. Let's let the AI do a job. So you'll see lovingly we have a B-52 bomber which is going to do a carpet bomb of the runway. Hopefully killing our BMPs and dismounts in the progress. So what we're going to do is we'll speed him up a little bit just to not make this video overly long getting a bit of distance so he can run in the carpet bomb if all goes well he's going to destroy the the uh, targets and we should see the next four BMPs spawn in and this this sort of tactic of respawning you can do as many times as you want for as many different groups as you want we go he's rolling in as soon as he Bombay opens soon there we go Bombay opens weapon release I will uh, this from down here. You can actually watch it from the bomb view. Let's try and get one near the back, isn't it? I think it might be relatively high up. So all the bombs are going in. Should see uh, explosions on the runway anytime soon. And hopefully that group will get absolutely annihilated. And as spectacular as it was, I'd like to think our group's been damaged enough okay yeah, cool so the BMPs are currently a burning wreck the dismounts are all uh, disintegrated all over the place however all we're waiting for now is for them to actually detonate so they're on fire at the moment they're going to detonate that's why we can't see any targets down the end of the runways yet but as soon as these guys blow up that should spawn in the next group one's gone just waiting on the second one we should see that group spawn in so any second now, hopefully that I've got a blow up. Come on. 
still alive for the minute. When he blows up, we should see vehicles at the end of the runways. There we go. Now you can see him spawning. If I scroll through them, one, two, three, and four. And as you actually saw in the video there, they actually spawned in. So we're happy with that. That's one way we can get vehicles to spawn in once the previous crew's been killed, which is nine times out of 10 what people are gonna to wanna to use on the mission editor. Okay then guys, so the next respawn we're gonna look at is gonna be a time to respawn. So we've done when a unit dies, the next, next group respawns or next group spawns in words better effect um, however this time I'm going to go through a timing so a time after so basically the way we're going to do this really really simple let's select our group again and as you can see we've still got a late activation, activation ticked and we've done absolutely nothing to him so far all we're going to do is we're just going to move them around a little bit just so it's, you know they're a little bit different to what we had last time bring them in there you go okay so this time we're going to go back into our triggers we're going to go back into the exact same trigger and we're going to change the condition from group dead to uh time more so time more is reference to the mission start so at the moment it's set to 120 seconds this trigger or this condition will only ever be in seconds so it's seconds from mission start so if you wanted 20 minutes really really simple work out 20 minutes in seconds and put the amount of seconds in that box Best piece, of, uh, best piece of advice from me is Google is your friend when it comes to this. So if you want to know how much 20 minutes is in seconds, type it into Google. Google will give the answer. Makes it a damn sort easier than trying to sit there with a calculator. So we're going to leave it as 120 seconds and then it will be group activate BMP. So when the mission starts, 120 seconds after group two or BMP two, these four guys will spawn in. And that is as simple as creating a... Uh, timed spawn as such obviously like everything for these um triggers you need to have late activation ticked and then the relevant trigger so obviously once time more 120 and group activate whichever group you've got ticked as late activation and what we'll do now is we will see that in the game so I'll quickly save that as my trial file okay so we're in the mission now and now we can see the time counting up in the bottom right so what we'll do is we'll speed it up slightly using control uh, control and Z. Just there you go, there's one minute done. One minute thirty, one forty. Okay, so we're at a minute fifty now. So we'll give it ten seconds and we should see all these other BMPs spawning behind them. Five, four, three, two, one, and now. There we go. Okay, so there's our four BMPs and that was our time to respawn. I hope this has been helpful. This is a really, really basic way of using the mission editor within the game to create um, respawns so you can put them into your single player missions. So this way you could have, obviously when a group dies, reinforcements respawn, they head into the area, all that good stuff. Or you can just have things set on timings like they are now. Um, really, really good for basic weapons training more than anything. However, I use the similar sort of triggers within all of our FA UK's missions and it's perfect for an, a full mission night with an entire virtual squadron. So next time I'll look into things like using trigger zones. So when a player character or when a blue coalition enters a trigger zone, that'll cause respawns and things like that. But this was just two different types of making a really, really basic uh, spawning enemy at, from the get-go. I hope that's been helpful. And as always, stay safe and I'll make more videos. Obviously, if you've got any recommendations or things you want to see, put them in. Put it in the comments and God knows I'll do it for you. Okay, all the best guys, stay safe and I'll see you next time.